Alright, today I'm going to teach you how to write a simple auto hotkey script uh, by uh, showing you how to bind a key press to execute a series of uh, complex actions. Okay, uh, let's just start with uh, starting your own text editor. I use uh, Visual Studio Code. You can use any visual uh, or I mean any text editor that you want including Notepad as long it creates a blank file okay uh, let's just start with creating a new blank file here all right uh, in, in order for auto hotkey to work uh, you should always save your file okay uh, normally I will save all my macros in desktop for easy access let's just give this example as a, a name uh, called first macro uh, and it has to end with AHK extension okay which is an AHK file for auto hotkey to work right so let's just save it and there you go first macro dot AHK okay so we're gonna start with a simple key binding okay so we're gonna first use the Q key which is the nearest uh, uh, Q uh, character at my fingertips here okay binding the Q key okay always starts with column column and it ends with return which means what happens in between uh, this Q and return will be the series of uh, actions that the computer needs to do whenever the Q key is pressed okay all right let's just start by showing you visually how this Q works I mean how this uh, macro uh, key binding will work so let's just show you visually when uh, you press Q we are going to use a special function within auto hotkey which is message box yeah message box followed by a comma and a space and the text you want to show within the box so a message box will appear followed by hello world text okay whenever we press Q so let's just file save it yeah and go head over to the desktop and look for a file right here okay in order to execute simply just double click and you will notice the H icon appearing down right here okay so whenever you see the H it's been uh, placed right here which means the icon uh, the macro is already running so let's just hit Q key you will see hello world message box appearing in the center right here okay which means our script works okay in any case you want to turn off the macro and uh, uh, return the Q key back to normal because right now the Q key is being assigned to do this thing forever as long as this icon still runs in this place so what we need to do is to right click and exit the macro script okay then you will have your Q key back to normal okay okay so let's just return to our script right here of course uh, we don't want to bind our Q key just to show the hello world uh, we should always bind the Q key to do something even much more complex which is what macro is written for so what I'm gonna show you is uh, how I did my bullet jump for Warframe by binding it to a Q key okay let's just erase this and what I'm going to do firstly is when I press the Q key uh, I'm going to tell 
the computer to crouch which means to send the C key pressing downwards all right so that's my first task it's gonna when I press Q he's gonna send the C key downwards okay and there will be a slight interval which means the C key is going to be pressed uh, downwards for a period of time so the, the interval is normally done using uh, auto hotkey command called slip slip with the uh, followed by the uh, number right here uh, I'll give it 150 which means 150 millisecond the C key is going to be pressed down okay got it uh, next we'll move on to the third task which is uh, as all you know after crouching you will send comma the space bar all right in auto hockey space bar is, is exactly the word space all right so it's gonna press C downwards uh, for 150 milliseconds and we will proceed with pressing spacebar okay then right after spacebar is pressed we will then release the C key by sending the C up okay so when this macro is running the Q key is being used uh, to do this task okay until the macro uh, icon is been disabled uh, it will continue to do that throughout the game uh, throughout warframe or even back in windows okay all right let's just gonna test this uh, in warframe itself what we're gonna do is we double click this and make sure that our macro is running and I have Warframe here ready. Let's just load it up. Hang on a second. Okay, this is my Warframe character. Okay, so I'm gonna hit Q key. Q key again. So, you see, instead of pressing C key, followed by interval and press space bar, I will now press Q key instead so that I can focus on the direction that I want to bullet jump at any point of time I can press Q key and I press Q key again it's that simple okay you can use this uh, macro to write all kinds of uh, script including uh, the what you call that the sliding attack uh, and many more but uh, that will be covered uh, in my website in the link description below okay that's it for now thank you for watching